our glaciers are melting at an accelerated rate. Sea surface temperatures are reaching record highs. We are seeing the worst marine heat waves and floods and droughts are destroying lives. Climate change is really making things look grim, especially in Asia. Hello and welcome to The Hindu. I'm Priyali Prakash and you're watching Tipping Point, where we take you through climate headlines that matter. Our main story today is the unprecedented global warming in Asia. The World Meteorological Organization released its 2024 State of Climate in Asia report last week, and this report contains some alarming updates on climate change in the continent. Overall, Asia is warming at around twice the global average. The study considered six data sets for its analysis. All of those found that 2024 was either the warmest or the second warmest on record for Asia. Some regions were particularly warmer, like the area between Western China and Japan, Indochina Peninsula, and parts of Siberia. India, in particular, saw extreme rainfall patterns in 2024, largely driven by sea surface temperatures. Some examples of this were tropical storms like Ramal, Asna, and Fengal. The landslide in Wayanad was one of the worst climate disasters in India that occurred in 2024. A post-disaster analysis by a team of international scientists found that climate change caused by human activities was responsible for making the rains in the area around 10% stronger. The landslides were triggered by the heavy rain. Heat waves were another climate disaster that affected India extensively in 2024. More than 450 people were killed because of it. And we should also remember that declaring heat wave as the cause of death is tricky, so the actual toll may be even higher. Climate change is also making incidents of lightning more common and even deadlier. In 2024, 1300 people in India died because of lightning. Yes, climate change is affecting our lives at an alarming rate. But all is not lost yet. If we can tailor our early warning systems to respond better to disasters, their impact can be reduced and lives can be saved. Let's look at one example. In September 2024, exceptionally high rainfall caused widespread flooding and landslides across Nepal. Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, recorded its highest rainfall. In anticipation of the floods on September 26, the Nepal Red Cross Society activated its early action protocol to support local communities in western Nepal. Volunteers arranged shelters at evacuation sites that were identified in advance and transport vehicles were kept on standby. The World Meteorological Organization conducted a field visit to Kathmandu on October 5 after the floods receded. Overall, at least 246 people were killed and over 1,000 families were affected. The WMO team found that there were gaps in coordination related to efforts before the disaster struck. A national flood forecast system is an urgent need. Early warnings also need to be dissipated better at least 24 hours in advance to allow for improved preparedness and evacuation. Local communities, especially vulnerable groups, need to be taught about the effects of flooding, especially if it occurs suddenly. And now, let's look at important climate headlines from the week. Between June 30th and July 1st, multiple cloudburst incidents were reported from Shimla, Mandi and Kullu districts in Himachal Pradesh. This has caused water levels in rivers to rise, threatening flash floods. A couple of days ago, heavy rainfall caused significant damage as landslides and water logging hit parts of the state. Educational institutions in parts like Manali and Kullu were shut on Tuesday as authorities warned of heavy rainfall. On June 25, flash floods and heavy rain caused widespread damage in Himachal Pradesh, killing two people. Three cloudburst incidents were reported and many houses were washed away. Water levels in rivers like Satluj and Bias also rose. A combination of factors like topography and rainfall patterns, exacerbated by climate change impact, is making monsoon deadlier in the hill states. Millions of people in eastern United States were affected by a heat wave over the last week. According to Reuters, this was caused by a heat dome that developed over the US plains. A heat dome is formed when hot air gets trapped over an area. Imagine a lid on a pot on the stove. 
This heat is trapped and has nowhere to go, so the temperature rises. A high pressure system in the upper atmosphere prevents warm air from rising and escaping. This can cause abnormally high temperatures, as has been seen in the US last week. Extreme heat is also affecting parts of Europe, with temperatures rising beyond normal in many countries, especially in the south. On Tuesday, more than a thousand schools were reported shut across France due to a severe heat wave. Spain's Barcelona recorded its hottest June in over 100 years. The Mediterranean Sea is boiling once again. That's all from this week's Tipping Point. For more in-depth news and analysis, please subscribe to The Hindu.